do a green collar. That's pretty funky. You can find even the color you like. Hey guys, this is Faye from Face Royal Media. And in this video, I'm going to show you behind the scenes what the Zoom Studio effects do and what they look like. And perhaps you might want to consider them for some of your future meetings. To access Studio effects, you're going to click on the little up arrow right here next to stop video or start video. Then you're going to click on video settings. Once you're inside video settings, click on background and filters. Inside this section, by default, you may be seeing virtual background selected by default. Now, if you click on this option right next to it called video filters, there you are. And you're going to click again under studio effects in the lower right hand corner. There you go. All right. I'm going to give you a full screen effect. So you're able to see the settings changing with all the filters that we're going to apply. And remember that you don't have to be nervous. You don't have to apply all the effects to all future meetings. That is by choice, which is this little checkbox here. Remember, if you're just playing around, you don't want these effects to apply to future meetings to make sure that this checkbox is unchecked. Now, first, I want to mention about lighting. In order for you to see me a little bit clearer, uh, what I'm going to do, just go ahead and turn on my lights. See what a big difference it makes. Sometimes you don't really need very strong lights. Instead, just apply a little bit, you know, maybe some filler light and even kind of low on this end, right? Like you don't want this to be, you don't want yourself to be completely washed out. Now, before I get started, I will just explain that I have just a little bit of uh, eyebrow pencil on, not too much. If you want to touch up your appearance, you can check this checkbox here. You can also adjust the low lights. So as you can see, I'm not turning it all the way up. So if I turn, I just like it a little bit like this. So let's come back to background and filters, go back to studio effects. Let's just play around. To be honest, like eyebrows is this one area that I feel like I have to paint it in. So let's see what it looks like if I apply thicker eyebrows. That didn't work out so well, right? It's too thick. And you can also change the colors if you want. Uh, here's the brown eyebrows. Eh, overall, it's just not going to work for me. And you certainly don't want to make yourself look worse or too comical. By the way, the camera matters too. If um, you're using the built-in FaceTime, it's going to be a little blurry. I'm using a Logitech Brio, which is a 4K camera. So let's just try a little bit more arched. Um, you see, I feel like even for, even though I have naturally black hair, a little bit uh, red tint these days, you notice by changing the color, you might find a matching color a little bit better suit it to you. You can also change the opacity. You see how much lighter and how much more natural it looks. So like that, let's try something just so you can see more clearly on my screen. I'm going to try a slightly different arch. What happens if I move my face? You see it kind of floats just a little bit, but not too bad. And here, this is kind of a very thin eyebrow. I can make it darker, but in general, I would say opacity in the 30 to 40%. Uh, range is good. This is kind of the popular Korean, more flat eyebrows. Isn't that cool that you just don't have to paint your eyebrows again if these settings are built in, but it's going to be problematic if it doesn't work. All right, here's a sharp eyebrow. It doesn't really match the arch uh, that I have. Finally, this is, I mean, each of the eyebrows actually has a um, name as well. Fit straight right here. I feel like that's also not bad. Even like a little bit darker is not bad. Anyways, I would say for me, it's the dark brown color. I'm not going to use the mustache. I mean, this is probably just for goatee. It's just for fun. I'm going to turn it off. And now lip color, I have absolutely nothing on right now. So let's try. Wow. I would say I'm most impressed by the lip color because if I'm talking really fast, potentially like this could not work at all. Like. But it works. Now, I'm a better, I, I like cotton candy. Ooh, I, I like that color. Do you? And here is a red color and here's a redder color. I, I would say that this appears to me so natural that you can't even tell the difference. Like, you can't even tell as I'm changing the colors. And I gotta say, for those of you out there who wants to, you know, try different lip colors before you buy them from CVS or something, this is, this is a great tool for you to play out, play around for sure. So that's a darker, this is a very natural color, as you can see, or you, you can barely tell the difference. I'm changing the colors now. And uh, I can even do a green color. 
that's pretty funky. You can find even the color you like. So for me, I would say this cotton candy, if I like it better. But anyway, just play around. I would say this is really fun. I would love to see that uh, Zoom introducing something like eyeshadows and eyeliners to make you look more awake. I mean, I would love those features to be in place just to play around. The point here is to have fun. This does not have to be a permanent setting for sure. But let me know in the comments below what else you would like to explore. What other features, studio effects you would like to see? Who knows? I mean, Zoom has been watching some of my videos as well. Just saying. So if you say something, then I hear something. I'll see you in the next video.